Welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how we expanded on the info window and combined it with data assets for information pooling. Remember, this is an Aquas tutorial. Without the extension, you cannot use the features explained here. The Aquas info window is encapsulated in its own components. You can find it in the folder Blueprints and then Components. When you open it up, you will find that it has a number of new variables under class defaults. For the beginning, I will show you how they are displayed in the info window. Let's head over to the level. Let's assume we want to equip a simple static mesh actor with an info window. This picture, for example. First, let's add the Aquas info compo window component and set up a select component to toggle it. There are more sophisticated methods for that, but I will talk about that in another video. Incidentally, you can find a link to a more in-depth video on the window component below, in case you're interested. As you can see, now we have the bare backbones of the Aquas Info Window. You remember how I told you that the Aquas Info Window component by default spawns two Info Windows? You can check that in the Settings category. Let's assume we only want to show an image. Open the Windows array and add the other entry to None or Delete it. Now we, if we enter the, a texture here, only the image Info Window is spawned. By the way, make sure that your texture is 500 times 497 pixel to get ideal results. Well, that's great, but let's go over the other variables. So we reinstate the other info window and add the name variable first. See it at the top of the info window? Now the description. Now the stat fields. Each has a name and a content. You can fill as you wish. Make sure to you keep your stat content within around 20 characters, including planks, to avoid line breaks in the stat fields. The availability is included as an enum and also controls the visibility of the buy button. The price is entered as an integer. Remember the last two digits of the price are converted to decimals. The reference admittedly is more of a gimmick to make the impression as realistic as possible. And now, here we have a complete info window. As in the core, the Aquas window component supports different positioning settings. These include auto positioning relative to the root location or the impact location. The latter means the position of the info window will slight, change slightly. However, sometimes auto positioning does not yield satisfactory results. Therefore, we can also position the info window manually like this. All relevant information on the info window positioning is comprised in the settings category of the window component. Auto positioning relative to the impact location is, default, is the default setting and does not require any additional setup. For auto positioning relative to the root location, just set the corresponding Boolean to true. Manual positioning needs a bit more elaborate setup. First, add an error component for each info window that should be spawned. In this case, we need two. Next, position each error component as required. Lastly, label each error component with an individual tag and refer to it on the window component next to the definition for each info window. Remember, the location of the arrow component is at the center of its corresponding window. 
If you want to include lots of info windows, entering all the information by hand is quite tedious. Therefore, we created a system to automatically provide an update info window content with data assets. If you want to use an article data asset to provide the info window content, go to the setup category of the window component, add the article data asset and make sure that the use data asset boolean is set to true. On an instance, you can also use the autofill function to update the variables in editor. That's all I've got for today. Bye bye and see you in the next video.